How's it going, everybody? Sage the Collector back with this month's Collectible Card Club Modern Sapphire Basketball Subscription Box. Last month, we went into battle against Spurs Cards 21, and I lost big time. These were the only two <laughs> semi-notable cards, and eh, it's not nothing, but it's pretty close. This month, I'm rematching Spurs. Is rematching a verb? It is now. I'm going back against... Spurs Cards 21 for a rematch, but this time there's an extra wrinkle. We're throwing Mike from Card Manic into the mix. Three-way battle. I put up two fingers. <laughs> if you can't tell, I'm recording this very late at night, so I'm a little punchy. Three, not two, three-way battle. Spurs Cards, Card Manic, me. Let us know whose box was the best. But before we get into this, you know, it's you know what time it is. It's mail time. And before mail... Gotta do a quick shout out or, or a fix. Gotta do a quick amends. Last video, I opened a package from Big J. He inserted these two cards and I thought, hmm, I didn't see him pick up or rip these two cards on his channel. I wonder if he picked them up at the National. And of course, silly, if you go back and watch my video, I pulled them out and I just completely threw away his note. And sure enough, he did get them at the National and he knew they belonged in my PC and he was correct. <laughs> so once again, Shout out to Big J for these two cards. There you go. I've made amends. Now it's time for mail. First piece of mail. Oop, okay, okay. I think I've already picked up one of these, but I mean, these are really cheap. There's like 20 or 30 of these on sale for on eBay right now. So if you want to pick up any of these plain ice prisms out of prism, do not pay a lot because they aren't it looks you know it's cracked ice so everybody's excited but man they are a dime a dozen still very cool looking though and very happy to put that into the pc binder all right what do we got in here oh no i was gonna say it's one of those ones that's taped but it's not it's just all the way down at the bottom and i can't reach it oh no it is taped ah oh, here we go jeez okay i think i picked one of these up recently but as i said him the last time i picked him up it's Zach, it's red, it's going in my PC binder. So there you go. Zach from last year's Mosaic. I cannot wait for Mosaic to drop again this year and to pick up some more red Zachs. And I get to pick up, hopefully, red Lonzos and red Demars. Oh boy, so exciting. All right, next. Ooh, thank you. Thank me? No, thank you. Oh, there we go. This was a great, this was a great steal. I, uh, I've got a search on eBay going for these. You know, if anyone who's been watching for a while knows I'm going after the set. These are all numbered out of 99. And most people are asking ridiculous amounts for this, like 30, 40, 50 bucks for these. It's like, yeah, yeah, calm down. They're not that valuable. They, they look like gold, but it's not gold. This one came up, started at 99 cents, and I won it for $4. <laughs> so there you go. One of the best steals I've had on eBay in a long time. Okay, here we go. I didn't really love this card, uh, but it belongs in the Zack Binder. It's Court Kings, it's Maestros, it's the red parallel, it's numbered to 149. It's a goofy looking card, but numbered, red, Zack, you know the deal. Gotta go on the PC Binder. Okay, I don't know if you can see what shape this is. I, I've made a dangerous move. I have re-enabled my Kobe White PSA 10 search on eBay. <laughs> Very, very dangerous move. I will probably live to regret it, but it is, at this point, so fun because these are so cheap. And here we go. We got a... I mean, this is a blue chips, hobby-only, mosaic, Kobe White PSA 10 rookie parallel, you know, rookie insert. And I think I paid... I paid up for this, and I think I paid $14. So... You can get really nice Kobe White PSA 10s for about the cost of what it costs to grade them, if not lower. I've got a couple coming, and there might actually be one over here in the stack coming in about two seconds, that I paid far less than would have than what it would have cost to grade it. So I feel bad for anyone who graded a lot of Kobe White cards because they are losing money big time on those low-end ones. Oh, yep, here we go. <laughs> I could feel it. Oh, it's another one. 
Oh man, that's a sticky one. Hold on, let me get out my dollar store scissors here. Oh boy, I dug into the meat of it there. Man, those scissors suck. But I get what you—I guess you get what you pay for. I paid a dollar. All right, here we go. It's another one. That is not Patrick Corbin. Nope. <laughs> Don't want you, Patrick. Get out of here. And then <laughs> Joe Adele. There you go. Just a regular old Panini Illusions. I've got probably 10 of these, 15 of these in my Kobe binder, but none of them in a PSA slab. I think I paid, after shipping and tax, $8 for this. <laughs> so, I mean, come on. You have to. Anyway, that is it for mail. We are about to dig into this to see if we can pull some good cards out of some sweet packs and finally, finally win one of these card battles. Man, I don't know... I've probably won one, but it feels like forever since I have. So let's see what we have pack-wise this year. I like what I see so far. Chronicles Hobby. There's a very good chance there's an auto in there. Let's hope, because I'm going to need something. So we got Chronicles. I, this has got to be Hobby. Otherwise, why would they include this? That's a pretty good pack. That's like a $35, $40 pack, maybe? We got Hoops Hobby, I think, which is me. It's all right. This is probably a blaster pack. Yep, blaster pack. Ooh, there we go. Okay, I see you, Prism. And that is Gravity Feed, so that's just a, a regular old Gravity Feed pack. And then Illusions. Ooh, I don't know, blaster pack? So this is definitely the big pack. And we'll end with Peony. We'll do it in this order. All right. We'll see what kind of Illusions pack this is, because I don't think it says, so I'm assuming blaster pack. Mega pack, maybe. Got a Kyrie. Josh Jackson. Okay, wait a minute now. This might be a hobby pack, because that is not retail. That is hobby. So this was a hobby pack. So that's pretty cool. Got a fantasy matchups. Ben Simmons. Man, I can't wait to see if he... If, I, sh I keep saying if, he's going to play next year. And I think he's going to do well. So there you go. Fantasy matchups. That's something. And then we got a, I think it's just a regular dame, Mike Connolly, and a rookie of Precious Achua. So nothing too exciting there. I mean, the, the fantasy matchups was kind of cool. It's hobby only, so that lends a little prestige to it. Not a, not a lot, though. All right, we got Hoops Hobby Pack. Let's see if we can get a cool insert here. Peyton Pritchard, Okoro, John Wall, Barton. Nurkic. All right, here we go. What's behind? Oh, it's a, it's a prime twine, and it is AD. So in my last Sapphire box last month, I think I pulled a prime twine, twine of Beal, I want to say, but it was just the regular one like this, not the hollow or not the gold or anything. And our rookie is a wildly off-center David Johnson. So rough start to the battle, but all it takes is one card to pull it around. Josh Richardson, Alfred Payton, Poku, and Steve Nash, regular base express lane. Ouch. <laughs> All right, that's not going to cut it. Prism, Gravity Feed. I don't know. If, I don't know if I've ever ripped one of these, or if I have, it's been a long time, so I don't know what the. Oh, okay. We got a green. JJ Berea, Sato, and our green is Maxi, and Darius Garland. So, whoo, boy. All right, it is down to Chronicles Hobby. Oh boy, we need a we need a good auto out of here. Or once again, I am going down in flames because I got to imagine at least Eddie and or Mike has put up something, and we've got a thick card. I don't know what that means. We're about to find out. So we got Zion, we got Kongu, we got Rudy. And our thick card is unfortunately just a red limited Paul George to 75. Hmm. That is not going to win anything. So we'll put him up there just because that's at least notable. We've got a horribly damaged... Oh, wait. We might have an auto there. Unfortunately, it's Devon Dotson. But look at that. I mean, it looks like somebody bent it and then put it, tried to smooth it back out. So, yeah, KD, that's going to go in my pile of damaged cards to maybe one day send back to Panini. But here we go. We have an auto to 99, and I should be excited because it's a Chicago Bull, but 
Devon Dotson, I don't even know if he... I think he got into a couple games, played a couple garbage minutes. Might still be in their G League team. He might be on the Windy City Bulls, but... Yeah, that auto's not going to win any contests. Our two autos to finish are a Coro and... Not a rookie, but LeBron James. So, we only have got two cards up there, but let's choose some cards for the giveaway. We'll put LeBron in there. We'll do a little Coro action. I don't want to put that in there because it's horribly dented. We'll put the green Maxi in there. And we'll put the Precious in there. Why not? So, down in the comments, go watch, uh, go watch Eddie's video. Go watch Mike's video. I'll have links to them down in the description. Then let us all know in our comments on all three videos who you thought won the battle. I don't think it's going to be me, but you never know. Somebody could maybe have a worse box than this. <laughs> Man, I feel bad if somebody did have a worse box than this. Anyway, go watch those videos, like them, comment on those videos. Let us know who you thought won the battle. And let me know which of these four cards you want and you could win that card. But <laughs> our two measly hits. Oh, it's a, it's a deja vu. This is almost, I think this is worse than last month's. But here we go. Paul George limited to 75 red and then a Devon Dotson. If you're going to get a crappy auto, it might as well be a bull for me, right? Devon Dotson auto to 99. So there you go. I don't think I won any any battles here, but uh, you'll, you'll have to let me know down in the comments. I paid $95 for the Modern Sapphire box, and once again, it had a solid pack lineup. Unfortunately, the packs contain some of the worst cards I've pulled in a while. I'm definitely going down in flames in this box battle. Well, that'll do it for this break. If you like videos like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that bell button to be notified when I post my next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Tune in next time for another basketball break.